So today we're gonna to have a look at the Dakin MMI and, and what we can do within the MMI. So you'll notice the first screen you see is a nice little picture of the home and you've got your outside temperature where your heat pump is, the pressure in bar within your heating system. We've got the temperature of the flow going around my heat emitters. We've then got the room temperature if I'm using a Dakin Madoka thermostat and I've got the temperature of my hot water stored within my hot water cylinder. You will see there are five buttons across the front. The first one we can press or twist and we can rotate this to go through the menu. I can press back to go back to my original menu and I can press that bu back button anytime and it will take me back one stage. Home button will take me straight back to this screen. So if I go into any menu um, and start to press some buttons, if I press home, I just go back to where I started from originally. I've then got the question mark. Um, this can give us a little bit more information when it comes to faults and things, um, but primarily what we use it for that if I press this button, I get this little dash in the corner. And then when I start to go through menus, I can then find where I am. So we call this the breadcrumbs. And this can be quite handy when I'm talking to someone on the phone or trying to diagnose a fault. I can say I'm in menu 2.5 and we can get to that quite quickly. So I'm gonna press home again, turn back to the beginning. And then the one on the right hand side, this is also a button and it also rotates. This will do nothing at the moment until we get into the menus and we'll have a look at that in more detail as we go through. So we are going to press the button on the left and I get my side menu. First thing we're gonna have a look at is operation. If I click into operation, I can turn my space heating on and off or my tank on and off. So I can turn things off and on when I want to. Click that. And then I've got room. Click into room. This one's off at the moment, so I can't do much in there, but within this menu, I've got my schedules, um, heating schedule, anti-frost, set point, room sensor, offset, if I wanna change that at all, all in this menu here. Back again, back again. Main zone, so now I'm looking at my heating, what my heating's doing, and I can change whether I'm on um, fixed or weather dependent, always want it on weather dependent. I can adjust my heating curve there as well. Scrolling down again, go back. I've got space heating and cooling. We don't use this option um, because um, we just do heating with our units. Tank is then my hot water, and I can adjust the temperature of my hot water from here put into powerful operation. If I want to give it a boost, if I've got lots of people around, um, I think this one's probably on reheat at the moment, but if it was on um, scheduled, then I'll be able to change my schedules and then we'll look at that as well as we go through. User settings, I can change my language date if I'm going on holiday. I've got quiet mode as well, which we don't recommend using as it limits the output of the actual unit itself. It doesn't make much difference and they're very quiet anyway. I've also got information and from information I can see energy output, how much energy we've used and then I can have a look at my produced heat, how much heat is produced, all in kilowatt hours and then I can calculate cops and scops and things like this. Back again, back out, user profile. In user profile I can change the settings so that I can go to an advanced user if I want more adjustability or for the installer they can go into installer mode and get into the commissioning side of things. To change the schedule on my hot water, I simply click on the left hand dial, scroll around until I get to tank, enter the tank settings, click OK, and then I can go to schedule, which is here. Click into that, and then depending on what day I want to change my schedule for, I can highlight, click in and then go to edit, click edit. And from here, I've highlighted with the time and I can change that time to when I want it to start to come on. So I can, can adjust where, where I want that start time for my hot water. So let's say we want to start it at six o'clock in the morning for arguing sake. I want it on comfort. Comfort will be my highest temperature for my hot water, which will be around 48 degrees much higher than that then it starts to try and bring the immersion heater in to help out raise that temperature so 48 degrees is the sweet spot i can then tell it at what time i want it to stop so six 
let's do six till eight and it will stop at that point. Click that button and it saved that setting. I can click back into Monday, select copy, and I can copy that to each day then if I want to, paste that in there, and I can change it as I wish. So every day could be the same. You can adjust it slightly depending on your hot water needs. Right, next we're gonna have a look at how to set my heating schedule. So again, I'm gonna click the left-hand button. I'm on room, so I wanna select room. Click again to enter. I've got my schedule there. Go to heating schedule. And here I've got the similar sort of menu that I had for my hot water. I can now select my day, edit that, and I can tell it what temperatures I want it to be at certain times during the day. And I can adjust this with the right hand dial, what time I want it to come on, 20 degrees here, um, eight o'clock, I've got a change there for 15 degrees. I can set this up how I want to go throughout the day. So I can have a 21 degrees all day long if I want to with a setback overnight to 18 degrees. And I just simply scroll around and adjust the numbers that I want. Click the button again. So I've set that, click on Monday. I can now copy that and then I can click Tuesday and paste it into there. So I can change it throughout the week. And if I'm at home a lot of the weekend, I can have it warmer throughout the day and the weekend if I wanted to. Next, we're gonna have a look at weather dependency and how to set up your weather curve. So I'm gonna click the left-hand button, go to main zone, click that in there. I'm gonna go down to my heating weather dependent curve. Click in here and here is my curve. So the first thing I wanna have a look at is what is my design temperature? So that will either be on your paperwork. Um, you'll find out what your system has de been designed to work out temperature wise. Um, generally around 45 degrees for my first setting. The next number down is how low can I set my heat pump? So what is it happy just ticking over at its very lowest? So I'm gonna go for 25 degrees here. Next, I've got my outdoor temperatures across the bottom. We're gonna go for zero. So when it's zero degrees outside, my heat pump will be running at its full 45 degree flow rate, flow temperature, sorry. And here is where I want my curve to start to pick up. So let's say 18 degrees. So if it's 18 degrees outside and I want my home to be 21 degrees inside, it's gonna slowly start to pick up the temperature of the flow going around my heat emitters until it reaches zero and at zero it will run at my 45 degree design temperature keeping your home nice and warm and as efficient as possible.